Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So last video I have completed nine problems. Till the last video, nine problems I have completed on game theory. Now in this video, two more problems, 10th and 11th, I'm going to explain. So if you want the perfect knowledge on this topic of game theory, watch all the videos from beginning till end don't join in between and don't skip in between because there is a relationship between one uh, i mean video with another video if you join right now without understanding the concepts you cannot be able to understand the problems of game theory so my solution if you have not watched earlier videos go to the pre um, playlist of my channel select the subject operation research select the videos of game theory be perfect on the concepts then only you can understand so two types of games are there pure strategy and mixed strategy. So pure strategy game will exist whenever saddle point exists when maximum equal to minimax. But if maximum minimax not equal, saddle point does not exist, mixed strategy game, then we have to reduce the matrix to 2 by 2 form and then find out the probabilities. Right? Already two problems, last two problems I have explained on this mixed strategy. In this video also some more new points I'm going to explain you same mixed strategy problem but first we have to apply the principle of dominance to reduce the form of the matrix then we have to apply the strategy mixed strategy technique right so before starting the 10th problem I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description always keep it ready take the screenshot of the points then I'll explain Now, see the problem number 10. Two firms are competing for business under the conditions so that firm, one firm's gain is another firm's loss. Two person zero sum game where only two participants are there. The gain of one party will be exactly equal to the loss of the other party. The firm's payoff, firm A's payoff matrix is given below. Here two firms, firm A is in rows. The strategy of form A is given in rows and the strategy for form B is given in columns. So three rows, three columns. What are the three rows? No advertising, medium advertising, heavy advertising. Columns also form B. No advertising, medium advertising, heavy advertising. So instead of writing all these names, we simply write down the strategies for form A are A1, A2, A3. A1 means no medium, uh, no advertising. A2 mediums advertising and uh, A3 heavy advertising. Similarly for B form we have B1, B2, B3. B1 no advertising, B2 medium advertising and B3 heavy advertising. So payoff matrix is given. So first of all we will apply the dominance principle to reduce the matrix to 2 by 2. So the purpose of applying the dominance uh, principle is to reduce the matrix so that we can easily find out the saddle point, right? So here, let the strategies of player A are A1, A2, A3 and strategies for player B are B1, B2, B3. So this is the matrix given in the problem. A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. These are the payoff values, right? Now, we have to apply the principle of dominance. Principle of dominance says for maximizing player, he will keep the maximum and eliminate the minimum. For minimizing player, he will keep the minimum and eliminate the maximum. In rows, always we assume maximizing player. In columns, we assume minimizing. A is the maximizing player, B is the minimizing player, right? Now, applying the principle of dominance, the elements of row. First of all, we check the rows. In rows, we are having maximizing player. He will keep the maximum and eliminate the minimum. So here you can see 13, 10. 10 is less, 12, 5, 5 is less, 15 minus 2, minus 2 is less. So if you compare A2 and A1, A2 is dominating A1 because all the elements of A1 are less than the elements of A2 because maximizing player, he will keep the maximum, eliminate the minimum. So A1 is dominated, we eliminate A1, we remove A1. That means a player A will 
never 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 adopt a one strategy he may adopt a two and a three but he will never adopt a one a one is redundant remove so uh, so a two dominates a one hence we eliminate a one we have removed a one so we are having a two and a three two rows and three columns b one b two b three this is the matrix now only two rows we have similarly one column also we eliminate in column we will have minimizing player he will keep the minimum and eliminate the maximum now if you compare uh, 12 13 13 is more and 14 16 16 is more that means the elements of column b1 are greater than the elements of column b2 b2 dominates b1 because b player is a minimizing player he will keep the minimum and eliminate the maximum these are the maximum values so b2 dominates b1 hence we eliminate b1 also b1 is eliminated so the ultimate matrix will be a player a2 and a3 b player b2 and b3 one column and one row we have removed a1 is removed and b1 is removed only a2 a3 b2 b3 are the strategy available for a player and b player now we calculate row minimum column maximum row minimum 12 here 10 what is the maximum among this 12 and 10 12 so this is called maximum column maximum the column maximum is 14 15 what is the minimum here 14 minimax minimax 14 maximum 12 maximum is not equal to minimax so saddle point does not exist it's a pure it's a mixed strategy game it's a mixed strategy game where we will find out the probability so p is equal to probability that player a will select a2 and q is the probability that player b will select b2 and v is the value of the q so we need p q and v right the formula for p already in the last video i have explained you a22 minus a21 so for our understanding we write down this 12 as nothing but a11 this is a12 a21 and a22 a11 means first row first column a12 first row second column a21 second row first column a22 second row second column that's it now the formula for p is a22 minus a21 that means 10 minus 14 divided by denominator a11 plus a22 minus a12 plus a21 this is the formula already in the previous video i have applied now a22 10 minus 14 a11 12 plus 10 minus 15 plus 14 so 12 uh, 10 minus 14 is minus 4 12 plus 10 22 15 plus 14 29 so minus 4 divided by minus 7 minus minus will get cancelled 4 by 7 so 4 by 7 is the probability p right similarly we calculate q q the formula numerator will change but denominator will remain same a22 minus a12 this is a22 minus a12 so 10 minus 15 that is the numerator denominator will remain same a11 plus a22 minus a12 plus a21 exactly same 12 plus 10 22 15 plus 14 29 so minus 5 divided by minus 7 5 by 7 so we got the q value 5 by 7 v is equal to value of game a11 into a12 a11 into a22 minus a12 into a21 so here a11 a22 minus a12 into a21 denominator will remain same a11 plus a22 minus a12 plus a21 so 12 into 10 minus 15 into 14 right divided by ha. so value of game the value of the game v is equal to a11 into a22 minus a12 into a21 divided by the denominator remains same a11 plus a22 minus a12 plus a21 so here we can see a11 12 into 10 minus 15 into 14 divided by 12 plus 10 minus 15 plus 14 so 120 minus 210 divided by 22 minus 29 so minus 90 by minus 7 minus minus will get cancelled 90 by 7 is the v value value of the game 
Finally, we got the solution. The solution of the game is the optimal strategy for player A. Originally, three strategies they are having. No advertising, medium advertising, heavy advertising. But A1 we have eliminated. Na? This A1 and B1 were eliminated. Finally, we are having only A2, A3, B2, B3. That means A1 is eliminated. So the probability that A will select A1 is zero. A player is not selecting A1. So probability will be zero. So here you can see uh, A. Uh, the optimum strategy for player A is zero. Four by seven. What is the probability that player A will select A2? That is P value. P value will got, we got four by seven. P value we got four by seven. So four by seven is the probability that A player will select A2. So four by seven. So 1 minus 4 by 7, 1 minus 4 by 7 is equal to 3 by 7 or simply you can see 7 minus 4 is 3. So 3 by 7 is the probability that player A will select A3, right? So ultimately the optimum strategy for player A is 0, 4 by 7, 3 by 7. Similarly, the optimum strategy for player B, B has eliminated B1. So B1 probability is 0. The B2 probability, what is the value of Q here? Q is 5 by 7. So Q is 5 by 7. The probability that B player will select B2 is 5 by 7. So 1 minus 5 by 7 is 2 by 7. So 7 minus 5 is 2 by 7. This is the probability that B player will select B3. Right? The value of the game is uh, 90 by 7, not 10. 90 by 7. That's all. This is the end of problem number 10. Now, see the problem number 11. Reduce the following 2% zero sum game to 2 by 2 order and obtain the optimal strategies for each player and the value of the game. Player A has is given A1, A2, A3, A4, already names given. So B player is having B1, B2, B3, B4. It's a 4 by 4 matrix. First of all, we have to apply the dominance principle to reduce the matrix to 2 by 2 because it is given in the problem. It is asking you to reduce the matrix to 2 by 2. Here, some more new points are there. So give more concentration here. Now, original problem A, A1, A2, A3, A4, B, B1, B2, B3, B4. These are the payoff values. Same to same I have taken here. Now, we apply the dominance principle. First of all, the elements of rows. A1, A2, A3, A4. You can see here A3, 4, 4. Here A1 value is 3. So if you compare A3 with A1, 4, 3, 2, 2, 4, 4, 0, 0. That means all the elements of A3 are less than or equal to. Less than or equal to because 4, 3, 3 is less. 2, 2, same. 4, 4, same. 0, 0, same. That means A3 dominates A1. So A1 will be eliminated. A1 will be eliminated. Now remaining rows are A2, A3, A4. Three rows. Columns are B1, B2, B3, B4. Now we compare the columns. B1. In columns, we will keep the minimum and eliminate the maximum. So here you can see here, uh, what is the maximum value? 3, 4, 4, 2. There is no error. Here B3 and B1. 2, 3. 3 is more. 4, 4 equal, 0, 0 equal. That means the elements B1 are greater than or equal to the elements of B3. That means B3 dominates B1. So B1 will get eliminated. Hence eliminate B1. So we have A2, A3, A4, B2, B3, B4. Still it is 3 by 3 patterns. We have to reduce it to 2 by 2. Now directly it cannot be eliminated. Directly, no row and no column can be eliminated. So indirectly, we have to eliminate. How indirectly? We calculate the average. We calculate the average of two columns and compare it with the third column. Similarly, we calculate the average of two rows and compare it with another row. Like that we can do. So here, the average of B3 and B4. See here, if we compare the columns, the average of B3 and B4 so what is the average 2 plus 4 divided by 2 average means take the total divide by 2 so 2 plus 4 6 6 divide by 2 is 3 3 is the average here 4 plus 0 4 4 divided by 2 is 2 8 divided by 2 is 4 so here 
3, 2, 4. So here 3. The value of B2 is 4. Average is 3. So average of B3 and B4 is dominating B2. Because B2 value is more. B2 value is 4. Whereas the average comes to 3. So 4 is greater. Similarly the average is 2. Average is 4. So the average of B3 and B4 is dominating B2. So we can eliminate B2. B2 is eliminated. So only B3 and B4 are left. But the rows are A2, A3, A4. Columns are 2. But rows are 3. We have to remove one row. Now we see the average. The average of A3 and A4. See here. A3, 4 plus 0 is 4. Divide by 2 is 2. 0 plus 8, 8 divide by 2 is 4. The average of A3 and A4 will dominate A2. Because A2 values are 2 and 4. Here also 2 average, here also 4 average. The average of A3 and A4 is dominating A2. So A2 can be eliminated. So A2 gone. So finally we have A3, A4, B3, B4. 2 by 2 matrix. So the new point we came across is the average. We have to find out the average of two columns and compare it with the third column. Average of two rows and compare it with the next row. In this way, the average will dominate the other column or row. Right? Now, two by two. Now, row minimum, zero, zero. Column minimum, four, uh, column maximum, four, eight. Again, you can see, maximum is not equal to minimax. So, saddle point does not exist. It's a mixed strategy game. So, again, we have to calculate P, Q and V. P is equal to probability that player A will select A3. Q, uh, Q is equal to probability that player B will select B3. And V is equal to value of K. So the formula for P is A22 minus A21. That means 8 minus 0. Divided by 4 plus 8 minus 0 plus 0. So 8 divided by 12. 2 by 3. 2 by 3 is the value of P. Similarly Q. Q is equal to A22 minus A12. A22 is 8, A12 is 0, 8 minus 0. Divided by denominator same, 4 plus 8, 12. 8 by 12 means 2 by 3. So we got P value 2 by 3 and Q value also 2 by 3. Right? Now V is equal to value of game A11 into A22 minus A12 into A21. Divided by denominator same. A11 plus A22 minus A12 plus A21. Right? So A11 into A22. So 4 into 8 plus 0 into 0. So 4 into 8, 32. 4 plus 8, 12. 32 by 12 is 8 by 3. So V is equal to 8 by 3. Finally, the optimum solution is player A. The optimal strategy for player A is 0, 0. Why I'm taking 0, 0? Originally, four strategies were there for A player, out of which A strategy eliminated, B strategy eliminated. Oh, sorry, A, A1 strategy eliminated, A2 strategy eliminated. Finally, we are having only A3 and A4. A1 and A2 gone. That means player A will never adopt A1 and A2. The probability will be 0, 0. So what is the probability that A player will select A3 is 2 by 3. And 1 minus 2 by 3 is 1 by 3. So 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 by 3. So 0, 0, 2 by 3, 1 by 3. This is the optimum strategy for player A. Now player B, again, player B also originally four strategy were available A1, oh sorry, B1, B2, B3, B4. Finally, we have only B3 and B4. That means B1 and B2 gone, 0. So 0, 0. 2 by 3, 1 by 3. This is the optimal strategy for player B. And the value of the game is 8 by 3. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 11. So far, 11 problems I have completed on this topic of game theory. Inshallah. We'll continue <clears throat> the next problem in the next video. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video.